I'm Francesca Simon, and I'm here at the British Museum because my new book, The Sleeping Army, actually starts in the British Museum. And my main characters are based on the Lewis Chessmen who were discovered, buried on the island of Lewis in 1831. No one knows how they got there um, or where exactly they're from. Their people think they're, they date from the 12th century. And I've been always fascinated by these pieces since I first started coming here 30 years ago, mainly because they look so glum and worried. And the starting point for the Sleeping Army was to find out why they looked so unhappy, what awful thing had happened to them. But I also wanted to write something about our world. And in our modern world, it's a world where Christianity never happened. So Britain and other European countries still worship the Old Norse and Anglo-Saxon gods. So the state religion of Britain today would be called Wodenism, and Europeans are pagan. You date time from the day of, of Woden's birth, um, and uh, no one would be called Christopher. So once I had my, the kind of elements of the story, which was to have a pagan England, um, I had a modern girl, Freya, who's 12, who is dragged to the British Museum by her father, who works as a night guard, um, and that she is drawn to this horn and blows it, and that wakes the chess pieces. Not all of them, it wakes three of them. We have the, the two mythological characters who are Roskva and Alfie, who are two children that the god Thor takes from their home. So I wanted them to be part of the army. And then we have one of the berserkers, Snot. And the berserkers were the mad warriors sacred to Woden, who just basically run around killing anything they can find. That's always uh, the solution. And his name is rather amusing. His name is Snot, which is actually, I love the name so much, even though it's actually a girl's name and it means wisdom. But in fact, it, he's Snot the Berserker. And he was a character that I couldn't make work at all. But in the end, he became my absolute favorite character. I think Horrid Henry fans will love the book. It's for slightly older children. So it's when Horrid Henry fans have read you know, all 20 Horrid Henry books, and they're very sadly putting the last one away, thinking, I'm nine years old now, can I still keep reading Horrid Henry? And the answer is, well, why not try The Sleeping Army? It, it just takes in, the, this book takes in a lot of my interests that perhaps haven't been to the fore, though Horrid Henry does show a rather unexpected knowledge of Greek mythology. He often says, wasn't there some old Greek who? Freya is probably more intelligent than Horrid Henry. Horrid Henry is more imaginative than Freya. Well, if I was alone in the British Museum, I would definitely take down every object that I could. I would try on all the helmets, put on all the jewelry, um, pick up all the Lewis chessmen, and basically run amok.